Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, with the Dallas Cowboys, <laughs> things are always happening. It's always happening. If you are a Dallas Cowboy YouTuber, there's always plenty of content and things to talk about because it's just the way it is. We have official word that the Washington Commanders with the left hand up along with the Carolina Panthers as well as the Los Angeles Chargers have all put an official request to speak with Dan Quinn for their head coaching vacancies. Dan Quinn, I, I'm going to say to me the greatest offseason move that the Dallas Cowboys have been able to do for the last three years is keep is to get and keep Dan Quinn. Now, I don't know what Dan Quinn's um, future desires are if he wants to go back to being a head coach. In my mind, um, as I was speaking with my man, Game Time Brian, which is higher profile? Being the coach of the Dallas, defense coordinator of the Dallas Cowboys with Micah Parsons and crew or being the head coach of the Panthers? which is more high profile and better to work with being the defensive coordinator with Jerry Jones or being the Chargers head coach with the Spanos family. We don't know that much about Josh Harris and Magic Johnson, but we do know it seems to be the Washington Commanders have one of the worst fields and stadiums in the NFL and seem to be cursed with any quarterback that they get. It doesn't matter if you're a first-round draft pick. It doesn't matter if you're a journeyman. It doesn't matter if you're a guy who's had success elsewhere. You all end up in the same place, in the garbage heap. We don't know if he wants to be any of those coaches, and I don't think that he necessarily will. What I would think is he would more apt to be if Pete Carroll stepped down, I would imagine that he would definitely be very, very interested in coaching the Seattle Seahawks, a team that he won a Super Bowl with. I would also think that Dan Quinn might be entitled or be okay with being the coach and waiting that at some point Mike McCarthy will be released and that he would become the head coach. And nothing I would love better than for Al Harris, who has been the the defensive backfield uh, coach, where you see Deron Bland is leading the NFL in interceptions. The work that they have done with this defense, the Dallas Cowboys can ill afford to lose those guys in that coaching staff. As... The Eagles situation will show you that defensive coordinators and offensive coordinators, as much as the Eagle fans did not like theirs, make a difference because the head coach, Nick Sirianni, is an idiot. Now, I'm going to say that after the Buffalo Bills game, a lot of people gave Dan Quinn and the defense um, a lot of flack, but I'll say it's the NFL where any week things can happen. Um, without Hankins, their biggest run stopper, they ended up changing after giving up 266 yards on the ground. They've held two of the last three games under 100 yards. And even the Miami Dolphins, which are a great running team, they held them to 125. So they made adjustments without their best defensive interior lineman. We have him back, and you can see they are definitely getting back on track, getting two more interceptions. So Dan Quinn will definitely be a very sought-after coach. And I always, I, I've shown this video clip so many times, so many times, but I think it's so relevant because Dan Quinn has one theory. We're going to be fast, and we're going to be physical. And I love listening to this many, many times. Yeah, we knew whatever conditions were going to come up tonight, we really, uh, the, one of the main things we want to do is let's play at our style. And uh, we did that tonight. That was one of the things going in uh, all year long. We're fast, we're physical, and uh, we have a real style about how we play. I thought that came out tonight. Push. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Uh, could be more uh, proud to be part of that unit that, that plays, you know, with an aggressive style. We talked about out hitting people in terms of how we want to affect the quarterback and even checking the ball down the way we want to tackle. Uh, we wanted to win it with fundamentals. And uh, 
you know, our guys work really hard in that fashion. Uh, it's something that our coaching staff and the players, you know, we talk tackling, we talk turnovers, really every day that we practice. And uh, you know, that's what came to mind. What did you tell you? Well, we certainly have uh, you know, so much respect for their offense the way they did. So I was not surprised that we played well. Uh, we've had terrific weeks of practice and preparation. So going into it, we were healthy and really felt like we were going to play fast and physical. We, we prepared for no huddle for two weeks. And uh, if you give those group of guys two weeks to prepare, uh, the coaches and those players, I think you're going to like the results. What did you tell your players after the game, Coach? Really just how proud I was to be part of the unit. And uh, the thing that I was most impressed about is that we really played in a style and fashion that we're accustomed to. We're fast, we're physical, and we played this game on our terms. And that was one of the things we went into the game saying. And for us to go and play it in that way, uh, you know, and have it come true in that way, it was awesome. Where do the Seahawks run the old time greatest defense? I'll let you guys decide that. I you know, couldn't be more fired up to be part of our unit and the attitude and the way that we play. So I'll, I'll leave that to you guys. Coach Carroll has been, uh, he's been huge for my career. I think just um, how to feature the players and uh, let's find what a player can do well and let's accent that. And uh, that, that'll be one of the many things that he's taught me. What did that first front? What you anticipate it would be that one side and look like the most dominated their offensive line? I don't know about that, but I certainly know our guys know how to rush. And uh, that was one of the things we knew when you face a quarterback like him, you better be able to affect him. We didn't talk about sacks or hits. We talked about can we get them off the spot. And uh, we knew in certain coverages there was going to be times when he got the ball out and under 2.2, 2.3, which is hard for a rusher. We know sometimes it can be it's at 2.6 or 2.7. That's when you can get the hit. So uh, we knew they'd have to deal with us, you know, in terms of you know, fired up for Clem and what he was able to do. And Cliff and Michael have been doing that for a while. So uh, it was just another example of how, you know, we have a really deep front. And some games you have to play real hard ball. It's going to be a running team. And then there's tonight games like tonight where it's going to be more future pass rush. What did that thing several times? Peyton Manning several times audibled into a run. Like Bobby Wagner was nodding. He came back and made a signal. Do you guys know any of the calls and the signals? We did not. In fact, uh, some of our calls we just wanted to have some fun, and we made we made up some calls just so we'd be able to do some too. <laughs> Shout out to Dan Quinn. Mm. I hope there's somehow, some way we can keep him. Um, I know from my own personal experience where I have been, you know, my construction company having 25 guys working for me, doing multiple projects and things, being basically the head coach, it was no fun for me. I am a guy that would rather be down there hanging drywall or spackling up walls and framing things up, getting my hands dirty and actually working and teaching as opposed to being the boss we'll see what dan quinn wants but dan quinn without a doubt is definitely the best defensive coordinator or one of the best defensive coordinators in the nfl right now i'm mark holmes and i'll see you guys real